guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. What's up, Sherry here. So um, this is going to be a twin flame reading for March. Oh my gosh, uh, the twentieth until the twenty eighth. So I'm sick. Um, I've been sick for the past couple of days. I was hoping to get this reading out to you a little bit sooner, but I've been having these um, coughing attacks and stuff. So um, I'm going to pull the cards first, and then that way, if I need to shut the camera off, then I can go ahead and do that. So, um, this will be a twin flame reading, yeah, like I said, from the 20th until the 28th. So let me pull the cards first. So the Six of Wands. Um, let's see how far I can go over. The Six of Swords. Um, the Six of Cups. The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hermit, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords, the Hope card. These down here. These cards are so wobbly. The Three of Pentacles. Very nice. The Eight of Wands. Sorry if I'm talking low. Um, I'm scared if I start talking higher, then I'll start coughing. <laughs> so um, just bear with me. Uh, so at the heart, throw shocker. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, eh? Because I'm sick. Okay, and for the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. Okay, so um, starting on April 1st, I'm going to start um, doing basic readings and then um, splitting it into an extended reading for my, my patrons. So I got six now, yay, oh my god, I, I I was so scared putting that out there and the website as well. And I have members on the website, I got patrons, I'm so freaking happy and I got donations as well. You guys are making me feel so loved and appreciated and thank you so much for your support. Um, so I'm going to use my little deck here and I'll just give it a quick shuffle. Um, and I'll probably pull just one clarifier per position, we'll see how it goes. I took some cough medicine before coming on, so I feel pretty good right now. All right, so let's begin with the feminine's power. Well, you know what? Since um, we know what the overall energy is, let's let's talk about that first. So the overall energy for the entire reading for the next week is the Seven of Swords. So this is a feeling of um, betrayal, being lied to, stabbed in the back. So both aspects are going to be in this energy. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be towards the other person. Um, it could be, you know, these are just thoughts in your own head, right? So you're believing these thoughts. Um, you're the one that feels that something is going to be taken away from you. you. You're the one that feels like you're being abandoned or that you need to hide away um, from somebody or something. Um, so this could be in your external environment, this could be something that's internal, um, or this, you know, of course, could also be how you feel about your twin. So let me just pull one, you know what, that's the overall energy, so I can't really pull a clarifier for that one, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so let's go through the position, starting with the feminine's past position is the Six of Wands. So this is a feeling of um, being you know, on top of the world, basically, you, you feel 
like you're on the podium and people are cheering you on, they're excited for you, so you're the rock star in the past position. So there have, may have been a lot of, um, you know, this could be rewards, um, maybe a promotion, uh, feeling inspired about a creative project and then having it kind of take off. Now, wand is also spirituality. So um, you could be feeling like you're on the right spiritual path. I'm just going to pause it for a second there. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, yeah, you feel like you're on the right spiritual path. You feel encouraged. Okay, so uh, let me just give it another quick shuffle here. So one clarifier, please. So three of pentacles. And it looks like to me I have this deck upside down, so let me just flip it around. So the three of pentacles is showing up in the foundation. So this is a, a firm foundation, feeling grounded, feeling successful, um, starting to see your dreams manifesting, but knowing that there's still a lot of work ahead of you, but you're, you're, this manifestation is encouraging you. Now the two cards together, it's like you're using your tools and your talents in order to generate abundance in your life and stability in your life. And, um, you know, you're being acknowledged by people for the work that you've been putting in. And so you feel absolutely grounded um, in whatever venture this is or whatever creative project this, this is. You feel encouraged and, you know, grounded, successful. So that's the past position for the feminine, for the past, for the masculine is the Six of Swords. So we have, you know, the Six progressing to Seven. So last week, the masculine... Um, this card is moving to calmer waters. It's, you know, feeling like you're in the middle of chaos, um, negative energy being projected towards you. Um, you know, you maybe you feel like somebody betrayed you and you need to separate. So this is deciding to take a break or to finally move on. You know, and this could actually be moving away from somebody. So the masculine has been um, making some decisions that are best for him, um, which is great to see. So let me just pull one card here. Hope card again. So the hope card is what the masculine is bringing in to the union. And so this card means, uh, wish granted. So you wished upon a star and those dreams are going to be fulfilled, um, if they haven't already. So there, there was this beautiful healing energy that came in and calmed his soul, right? We got um, moving to calmer waters and this is a very soothing breeze. And so this is hope for the future that the worst is over now. So in the past, the masculine has been um, making some decisions, you know, to release himself from something that ultimately gave him a feeling of healing and offers hope for the future. Okay, so let me just move this down here again, sorry. So in the present position for the feminine. So this card represents union, reunion, somebody from the past coming back. Um, so it also represents loving memories. So the feminine may have reunited with some of their masculine or may have heard from their masculines and or you know something might have happened to trigger a memory that kind of put them in a really loving space and you know so there's this deep bond that you share with somebody and when you think of them it makes you feel all warm and gushy inside and um, you know it's hard to let go or forget about this person because you hold such warm, loving memories of them. The Six of Wands, or sorry, the Seven of Wands. So we got a progression from the Six to the Seven. So this is um, also like the King of the Hill kind of energy. It's standing up for yourself. It's speaking your, your truth 
um, having the courage and strength in order to stand your ground if somebody challenges you and it's overcoming those obstacles. And so now you're standing at the top of the hill and you feel empowered. Now, if you look at the two images here, it looks to me like, you know, this person is focusing the megaphone at this reunion. So maybe some feminines in the present moment want to reach out. They feel confident. They feel, um, they feel that this connection is bringing them closer to the, the masculine um, spiritually. Um, there's a sense that some feminines may want to reach out and, or, yeah. Well, let's move on. That's all I'm getting for that right now. Okay, so what is in the masculine's present? Oh, I need to stop it. Sorry, guys. Okay, so in um, his present position, we have the Ace of Swords. And we kind of have the same imagery here. Now, in the past, you know, we got this feminine with dark hair, and she's looking away from the connection. Up here, we have a feminine, again, same kind of dark hair um, facing the way. But now this person is naked, vulnerable. They've got nothing to hide. So this is somebody who wants to speak their truth, who has made a decision, who has found clarity. This is mental clarity um, through this healing energy and, and making a decision to focus on himself for a little while. It has cut through some confusion and illusions. So this is a very tri triumphant card, very successful card, but they're both swords, so they're both in the mind, and also the star card is also an air. It's all mental this, this, these past couple of days for the masculine. Are you able to see those? Okay. So the near future for the feminine is the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a card of um, putting a lot of work and effort into, you know, growing that foundation. And so here we have a full-grown tree. And, you know, it's starting to bear fruit. And you know that harvest is not that far off, and you feel that there's abundance coming in. There's a flow of um, abundance coming in, making you feel stable. And so it's giving you strength and power and um, confidence that your dreams will be manifested. And so it's a positive movement forward. It's you're gaining momentum with this card. So you've grown that three of pentacles into an eight of pentacles. Very successful energy. So one card. Oh, did I shuffle? I'll shuffle. Seven of pentacles, or sorry, the knight of pentacles. So this is very slow movement, um, calculated steps. And down here we have you with your little calculator and your graphs and your your resources and so you've taken a plan of action now and not only are you making great gains but you're starting to manifest manifest your dreams and your future is um, firmly grounded in reality so in the near future position we see this sense of success um, feeling grounded, um, but, you know, s not speeding things up, just taking it one step at, at a time, even though there's a sense that there's a desire to um, speak your, your voice in terms of this union or reunion. You are turning your attention to more material needs. Oh, I forgot to take a pull clarifier for this one. Oh, wow, the Queen of Cups. So that's the final outcome card. So what I'm seeing here is the masculine 
discovering a truth about either a water sign um, or somebody that he loves very deeply, like the, the Divine Feminine, because she represents the God, uh, sorry, the Queen of Love, right? So she feels emotions very deeply and she loves very deeply. And so either he wants to communicate or he's having clarity about the feminine and how he feels about her and feels vulnerable, um, feels like he wants to say something and he's got nothing to hide anymore. So that's amazing. And also aces are new beginnings. Okay, so um, the near future for the masculine is solitude, the hermit. So this is a philosopher. This is someone who is wants to discover truth about themselves uh, or about you know society or about spirituality. You know he's asking the deep questions, and so this is somebody who is also detached from the conditioning of societies. Um, you know from the time we're we're born, um, we have these rules. We have these this control over us and then we're put into schools um, and you know mo all of our childhood is wasted um, by being inside uh, being locked in these rooms right so you know in a free society you would learn at your own pace we wouldn't place so much value on material possessions and so this is all the philosophy that kind of surrounds sociology and you know psychology and that kind of thing um, so in the near future, there's a sense of him being the hermit, being in solitude, and somebody who enjoys being alone. Um, they discover some deep truths when they're in the, when they're alone. So we we see this um, movement into calm, into stillness, into healing. In the near future, we have this hermit mode. So let's pull a clarifier. So the Two of Wands is expansion. So we see that slicing open or clearing a boundary or freeing something with the Ace of Swords. And now that door is opening, right? There's light um, shining through. So the Two of Wands is seeing things from a higher perspective. One moment. So seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing um, all the possibilities, seeing how you're connected to the universe. So the masculine in the near future, through that clarity, will discover a truth about himself or he will discover an answer. Um, now this is spirituality, you know, the Kundalini has awoken, so there's this beautiful fire, vibrant fire, that is burning within, and that's what the philosopher is all about. The hermit is about finding their light within, and um, they're shining it brightly for others to see, to draw them out of the darkness. So I'm going to leave the final outcomes until later. So we'll move into the union. So what is the feminine bringing into the union is the king of swords. So the King of Swords is somebody who is completely emotionally detached. So these are opposites of one another. The Queen of Cups is all emotion, double green line. And the King of Swords is all air, all thought. So in terms of this connection, there's this... Um, objective, judgmental, um, void of emotion kind of feeling that I'm getting from this card. Now this could also be an air sign, but I'm not really reading twin flame or zodiac signs into twin flame readings um, unless it's asked of me. So what I'm feeling strongly here is the, the, the emotion is gone. Um, she has discovered some truths already and it seems to me like she's turned her attention or is turning her attention um, to the 3D reality 
Mm. Hmm. You know, the King of Swords is somebody who is a, the master communicator. He is able to speak his truth and, um, you know, he he's commanding, he's the authoritative person, but more importantly, I'm talking about communication. And over here we have this feeling of wanting to express a desire to reunite or to connect with the masculine in the, in the present moment and yeah okay well let's pull a clarifier for that two of swords wow indecision so in terms of the union what she's bringing in is indecision feeling like uh, that she's at a crossroads that she feels like she's going nowhere she's been down that road before you know she feels a calling in another direction um, but what I feel here is like a stop sign. And so, um, you know, just not knowing what's happening. And so because of that, there may be that emotional um, disconnect. It's almost like she's frustrated with wanting to reunite in the present moment. Uh, what is he bringing into the union is the hope card. So I mentioned that this card showed up in the past position there. So um, this is wish granted. So he feels that his wishes are coming true and he feels that um, this union is helping him to heal and he's also bringing in healing energy. He, um, he wants to bring hope or offer hope for the future or he feels hopeful about the connection in the future. The Knight of Swords, wow. So we've got the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is a very chaotic movement, very scattered energy. Um, he's the champion rebel without a cause, so he fights for justice and truth. So there's that feeling of a truth discovered and wanting to, to speak it or, or express it. You know, and it possibly could have something to do with the water sign. It shows up twice. Um, now the king, or sorry, the knight of swords is also somebody who is a social butterfly, um, they're thrill seeker as well. So in terms of the union, there's movement forward. The movement, um, is confident, um, and there may be communication or a desire to communicate, but there's a sense that the masculine wants to heal. The union or the, the connection may feel disconnected from it in the past and wants to heal you know the bonds strengthen the bonds but what he, he what he's being met with is cold or indecision conflict confliction so at the foundation, we have the Three of Pentacles. So um, a repeated card, like I said, coming from the Feminine Foundation. So this is a strong foundation, feeling grounded, feeling successful, knowing there's work to do. So both, both aspects feel grounded in the connection. They feel um, that the seed is growing. There's growth there. There's um, no need to worry about each other you're always going to be there for one another even though it might f not feel that way um so there's like this uh okay well let's pull clarifiers so one for the feminine first wow hermit and the hangman so two major arcanas one minute okay so two major arcanas the first one the feminine's bringing in the hermit which the masculine's getting in the near future so the feminine may have withdrawn and gone on a spiritual journey to discover some truths for herself and she may have discovered those truths right and so there's that foundation there's that sense of success um wisdom gained the masculine has switched perspectives he's seeing things from a different point of view and you can see that mental clarity coming in in the door opening um yeah, so this is letting go of control, surrendering, um, 
and it's realizing you can't control a situation. Um, it's best just to let destiny play out, right? So we have that surrender happening in his past and that healing energy is still being brought into the union and it's like these this clarity or decision or truth that he's discovered is what's healing him and he's feeling that from you know he's drawing on love so what is the crowning is the eight of wands so this is communication first of all uh, Cupid's arrows so we feel that sense of wanting to communicate over here and right at the heart we have the throat chakra and then um, we have the Ace of Swords over here, which is another communication card. So crowning energy, both aspects want to communicate. And also we've got the King and Knight of Swords, which are communicators. Now, this is keep its arrows, though. It's loving messages. It's positive vibrations. Um, this is seeing the finish line. You're almost there, so you step on the gas. So there is this desire to like pick up where you left off. Um, and communicate love. Okay, so one card for the feminine. The Page of Swords and the King of Swords. So the Page of Swords. So we got all the air suit except for the Queen. So the Page, she wants to speak her truth. She wants decisions to be made. She wants um, honest, open communication. She wants the door to be open to communication. She wants, um, you know, ex to be able to express herself. Again, that seems to be coming through very strongly. And the king of pentacles is an earth energy. So the masculine wants to not only communicate or pick up speed, but they want to be there for the feminine. They want to provide security. They want to make her feel like she's arrived home. Um, you know, this is a provider, this is somebody who doesn't place a lot of importance on the 3D reality. They gain, um, they, you know, they place importance on family and friends and, and love, relationships, commitment, long term. So he wants to be that man that she's always wanted him to be. That's what I'm feeling very strongly. Okay, so at the heart we have the throat chakra, the irony that I'm sick, and all these communication cards seem to be coming up. So it seems to me like she's ready and willing to talk at any time. She wants to talk, but she feels that um, there's no movement, so she's focusing her attention elsewhere. And she's feeling very confident about her spiritual and 3D reality. But in terms of this connection, there's a sense that she wants to tell the masculine how she feels about him. Um, yeah, express her desires, um, express her emotions. On the other hand, masculine is coming out of a very beautiful healing energy that's come from a place of surrender and sh a shift in perspective. That perspective is continuing to grow stronger with clarity um, in the present moment he's discovering a truth about the feminine about his emotions and that seems to be what's manifested as a final outcome so a desire to communicate at the heart one for the feminine wow the ten of cups and the magician so we got the magician reduces to one one minute so the magician is a one, sorry, and then the ten reduces to one. So the ten of cups is the happily ever after. So this is emotional bliss, peace and harmony um, at work, at home, and within romantic relationships. So the feminine wants to talk about her emotions. She wants to express how she feels. Um, she wants the happily ever after and she feels that love very strongly and she wants to manifest it into the 3D but 
what I feel is that she wants to talk about it. She wants, um, yeah, to express your emotions. So he's bringing in the magician, which is a number one new start. Uh, so this is the master manifestor. This is somebody who realized that they are very powerful beings. And so this is focus, attention, um, the power of the will to manifest your dreams. And so, yeah, there's this is, you know, this crown chakra activation with with focused attention at the heart, with the throat chakra there, um, I'm feeling this, this this strong clarity. It's almost repeating, you know, that all the cards actually. There's this clarity that is coming with a desire to communicate or to to activate or initiate something, action, or you know, to speak from the heart. Um, with absolute clarity and focus and intention on manifesting a happily ever after also. Okay, so where am I? Oh, oh yeah, the final outcome for the feminine is the High Priestess. So what's interesting is that as a final outcome, we have two intuitive cards. The Queen of Cups is... Um, water energy so she is very psychic um, she's all about going within she feels her emotions within the high priestess is also water energy and very highly intuitive so she the high priestess is a subconscious mind it is seen beneath the surface um, it's paying attention to your dreams it's meditating and it's part of non-action um, and what I'm feeling is like this desire to discover truth because we got the seven of swords there. There's this, these nagging questions like what's going on here? I, you know, I want to communicate. I want something to open up. I want, um, I want these thoughts to be cleared up and that energy is being felt on both sides. So as a final outcome, the feminine gets that clarity. She finds um, stillness within. Ten of swords. There you go. So whatever these nagging thoughts are, come to an end with a ten. So she puts an end possibly to the dark night of the soul. Last week, that's the feminine was kind of going through that dark night of the soul. And so now we see her kind of putting an end to whatever this blockage is here in terms of the union and finding um, clarity and you know it's like the part uh, the parting of the clouds and you know the dawn of a new day so the final comfort of the masculine queen of cups so repeated card um, so this could be his energy being really connecting with himself emotionally and being able to express himself emotionally um, or, you know, the Queen of Cups, the Divine Feminine, comes into his life and expresses some beautiful emotions to him. Um, but, you know, we got that mirroring um, psychic ability. So there might be an intuitive link that happens. And we see this opening and, you know, connection in the 5D realm with the Two of Wands and the Wisdom card and, and the Ace of Swords. There's this um, bond in the 5D that's showing up here. So, let's pull a clarifier. It's the Knight of Fire. So, this is movement forward. I see the Knight on his fiery horse and pursuing the Queen of Cups, his love the one that he's made a decision about in the present position and then he he disconnects walks out a door gets on a horse and goes towards her wow that isn't that beautiful that's absolutely beautiful um and it's like the feminine isn't pushing anymore she's kind of released some deep-seated thoughts that have been it's like, you know, 
I'm at a crossroads with the connection, but at the heart of the matter, my heart is open and I, I feel this love. Um, and it's like you're just waiting for communication with the masculine. You're not overly consumed with these nagging thoughts, even though they are in the back of your mind, you feel like you might be betrayed, but there's, there's a truth discovered on both, both sides. This clear, this six, seven of swords is no more by the end of the week is what I'm feeling. Okay. So I'm going to stop it there. Um, we're going to get ready to do the, um, final message from the universe. All right. Okay. So I'm going to use, um, the call up Baron Reed, uh, good tarot. So I'm using these cards because the explanations or the little um, paragraph or whatever quote that they do in here is quite short. So I don't think I'll be able to do a long um, reading. Okay, so for the feminine side is the four of fire. Nice! And the mat wow, ten of fire. So for me, the ten of fire is burden. It's, you know, juggling too many things at one time, um, being caught in the machine. So the message from the universe for the masculine is to put down the burden um, and to rest and to heal yourself, right? Come get out of the storm. And the storm is all in your own mind. And the, mat, the feminine got the four wands, which is confirmation of a twin flame connection. The four wands is the 1111. Okay, so let me read those. Sorry. Dancers have partners. Singers have musicians helping them create sweet music. And I find others who are in sync with me and my desires. It's time for celebrating friendships and all that others bring into my life. A time for revelry and relishing the pleasures of being in good company. Making magic together with others is the focus of this time. So the universe is telling you to celebrate life, to cherish the time that you have on this earth because it is short um, you know and connect with people that you love but more importantly you know it is the four of wands which is commitment feeling like you've arrived and being you know and celebrating that and feeling like you have your whole life still stretched out before you okay so the ten of wands is for the masculine Okay, so burning away, releasing the excess, ending clear away for beginnings. I may be overcommitted and have taken on too many burdens. In this moment, I, I do the work of um, decluttering my life. All that I release will take new form and serve the greater whole, but I no longer need to hold on to it, simply because it once seemed to have value for me. I thank it for what it did for me, but say goodbye to the emotions, relationships, and situations that I realize do not belong in my life anymore. Wow. So the universe is telling you to cut those relationships out that no longer serve you. You know, and we see this separation here. We see a movement towards over here and another decision made. Right, this is what I want. And then there's movement towards it again in the future with passion, with fury. Beautiful. Okay, so whoops, I hope this helped and I love you guys. All right, cheers.